I'm joined here by last night's starting pitcher, Neil Ramirez, here on the pregame show. The Rough Riders finishing up a three-game series here against the Arkansas Travelers tonight at Dr. Pepper Ballpark. And, Neil, a really good second outing for you. Uh, you know, your first outing out, you looked really good through the first three innings, sort of ran into a wall there in the fourth. Uh, but how did you feel about your improvement last night? Uh, I felt good. I feel uh, like I got stronger um, the, then the first, I mean, stronger after the first outing. Obviously, I got a little tired in that first outing, and I still feel like I'm kind of building up right now. I didn't really get a whole lot of innings in spring training, so I feel like getting into a routine, getting into a throwing program, good lifting routine, all that's going to help me out. And uh, yeah, I just felt like I was able to to go a little longer last night and just keep the team in the game and had some quick outs early. Ran into a little bit longer counts as the game went on, and that's kind of been my goal here these first couple outings. Well, just really for this season is really to get action in three pitches or less. So, And uh, the last guy you faced, uh, Caleb Cowart, uh, was the last batter you faced. You walked him. Uh, did you know he was the last guy? Did you know you were coming out after that? Or, uh, you know, was it this sort of surprise when, when Boo came out to pull uh, you last night? You know, I didn't know. I mean, I just, um, I don't know. Maybe they, they could see that I was starting to leave some balls up, so that indicated to them that I was getting a little tired. So, I, you know, I didn't know that was going to be the case. But, you know, it was unfortunate. But, you know, like I said, that's one of those situations where I just got to make a pitch. So. And how much has the rhythm been important to you? Last night it seemed like uh, you wanted to move like an express train. They were, yeah. uh, they were throwing it back to you. You weren't even moving off the rubber. Um, guys were eventually trying to slow you down, it seemed like, out there. But is that something new for you, and how important is that rhythm for you? Yeah, tempo is big. Uh, you know, when you're, when you're in that flow going like that, it's a lot easier to make pitches and, and work pitches off certain pitches, you know. And, um, you know, for me, pushing the tempo and being on the attack is definitely something that, it's going to help me out a lot and help anybody out a lot. Any pitcher will tell you if you're moving fast and, you know, not to the point where you're out of control, but to the point where you're definitely in control of the game, um, you can be able to repeat those feelings easier. Uh, the infielders are going to be on their toes making plays for you. So, you know, all that's big. Here with Neil Ramirez, a starting pitcher here for your Frisco Rough Riders. Uh, Neil, your third season now in Frisco, parts of uh, three seasons now here at the AA level after skyrocketing through the Rangers system in 2011. A little bit of a setback for you last year. A tough start in Round Rock before coming back here and sort of sorting things out again. Um, I, you know, what, what's some of the things that went through your mind last year as you finally ran into some struggles uh, that you seemingly really hadn't had in your professional career? Well, um, you know, I just... Last year, I kind of let things snowball and got into that whole, you know, emotional roller coaster up and down instead of just focusing on the process, man, and, and not getting too caught up in results. And, you know, let that, let that kind of stuff take care of itself and just, you know, buckle down and, 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 you know, be in it for the long haul, be in it for the grind. And, you know, I just got frustrated. I put a lot, way too much pressure on myself, you know, trying to control things that I couldn't. Um, you know, and I forgot to have fun, too. I mean, I look back at last year, there wasn't a whole lot of times when I was out there just, you know, smiling. There's a lot of times where I was out there just frustrated. And that'll wear on you in the course of a season. So, um, you know, I definitely came into this season with a fresh perspective on things. Um, really try to focus on that, that whole attitude you hear it all the time, cliche, one pitch at a time. But it's true, you know, you got to go out there and it's every pitch is its own, its own entity. And, you know, just have fun, man. I, I mean, when I go out there right now, I'm just trying to have fun and compete. And... Um, you know, just let that other stuff take care of itself. Well, and this, again, now your third season here, uh, having a little comfort level, does that help you have fun? It, you're not worried about uh, adjustments, you know, whether it's the league or the coaching staff, which has been pretty consistent here as well, and a lot of your teammates have been repeat guys as well. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely comfortable with this coaching staff and being with Jeff now for a couple of years. You know, we're definitely on the same page with everything that we're trying to do. Um, you know, being with Eric, the strength and conditioning guy, we definitely have a good program also. So there's definitely that comfort level of, of – being in a routine and knowing the guys, so it's uh, it's helped out a lot. You brought up two guys that are obviously a big part of, of your development. Uh, you know, with the strength and the conditioning side, you're, you've got a reputation for being a very hardworking guy. What's your focus physically right now? Well, just to get stronger and uh, maintain it. You know, um, the season's definitely a grind, and I think sometimes in the past I might have pushed uh, a little too hard on days when I didn't need to. You know, to, to listen to your body is big. Um, I think learning that and learning how to – um, you know, push when you need to and then be able to take days where, you, you know, you, you back off. So we, I've communicated that with Eric, and we're, we're definitely working on maintaining the strength that I gained this offseason and doing all the little things, all the recovery work too, because that's huge, um, you know, to be able to recover out there 
and go every fifth day and feel you know close to your optimal level you're not going to feel that every time but to feel close to that is definitely the goal and on the anecdotal and mental side you had your second chance to, to go to the big league camp with the rangers this spring uh, what have you picked up from some of those guys uh you know on your path as you try to make it up to the big leagues well, those guys work man uh, you go there and you you see a real dedication to uh, to their craft i mean they, they work on what they do and they know what they're good at um, and they stick to that, you know, they don't, they don't stray from that. And they, uh, they just put in the time, they put in the work and mentally, I feel like they stay on that even keel. I know, uh, you know, from being up there, being in those battles in the big leagues, those guys learn that and they have that experience and they don't ever let it get too high or too low. The good ones, you know, they always know that it's, you know, it's never as good as you think it is. It's never as bad. So I think that's big. And, um, that's definitely one of the things I've learned from being up there. Well, thanks a lot for your time. You've off to a good start. Good luck the rest of the way, and uh, hopefully back up in Round Rock soon enough. All right, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Neil Ramirez, starting pitcher for the Frisco Rough Riders, and the victory yesterday here at home against the Arkansas Travelers. More ahead here on the Frisco Rough Riders Baseball Network.